hello everyone uh, we will learn about scorpio venom we have already made lectures on the snake venom and the bee uh, poison the venom that is released from bee so let us discuss about the scorpio venom some features of the scorpio includes they belong to the family arachnida they are the arachnids scorpio grows up to 3 inches and the body is composed of total 18 segments now what are those segments First is cephalothorax, cephalic head portion of Scorpio that is fused with thorax that is the chest region. It is uh, somewhat anteriorly placed. Then abdomen along with the tail which is made up of total six segment and this segment would terminate in a bulbous portion that is the telson. Look at this. This is the telson. This entire tail portion which is composed of a uh, total six segment and the terminal portion of this tail would be telson. This telson has some special features. It contains a sting. The sting is the venomous portion and the main portion that we will be talking about. If a Scorpio stings a person, there will be certain consequences uh, which will be the result of the venom that is present in this portion, this portion of the Scorpio's tail and two claws are present in the body of the scorpio now some common species of scorpio are mostly found in our indian subcontinent and in states of maharashtra western portion of maharashtra and some parts of karnataka andhra pradesh and pondicherry tamil nadu and uh, saurashtra as well scorpio often stings the venom inside the body of a human being via this bulbous portion of his tail and when the scorpio is disturbed it becomes aggressive and it ends up stinging the person so this is how the entire phenomenon of stinging takes place this is an indian red scorpio's image then the venom is composed of uh, several colorless it is basically a colorless fluid and it is composed of several toxic components like phospholipase acetyl choline trees and uh, hyaluronidase then serotonin and neurotoxin this poison is neurotoxic in nature it means will cause damage to the central nervous system the peripheral nervous system of the human being we will learn about other consequences as well but these are some of the main component the toxic component that are found in the venom of the scorpio so mechanism of action the chain of action that will be caused in the body of the person as soon as the venom is in injected inside the body uh, scorpio venom delays the inactivation of sodium channels of the autonomous nervous system as i've already told you it is a neurotoxic poison means it will affect the gates it will affect the channels and the other components like uh, alpha receptor it plays an important role in the uh, pathogenesis of pulmonary edema then scorpio venom is powerful arrhythmogenic agent now what is an arrhythmogenic agent means such component can cause or tend to cause cardiac arrhythmia it is also harmful for heart then the autopsy findings include the swelling of the uh, some local portions inflammations and in case the sting is present in the body where the scorpio must have sting to the person there will be some kind of inflammation and rounding of the tissue um, hemorrhage can also be observed at that point where sting has been inserted in the body of the person by the scorpio sting sites are usually peripheral side or part of what like toes finger means these are the basic part that are prone to get sting by an scorpio what are those portions the toe the finger palm sole etc mm, it is not necessary that only peripheral per portions will be injected by the or um, um, sting by the scorpio there could be other portions of body as well like backs and shoulder where the sting could be present systematic examination reveals that pulmonary edema pulmonary hemorrhages gastrointestinal tract hemorrhage are also commonly observed intracerebral hemorrhage and sign of some consumption myocarditis is also observed it is also harmful for heart as we have already discussed about it so myocarditis can also be observed in such cases now medical legal importance accidental 
death in children can be observed in case of the sting that is being done by scorpio venom now how in village area uh, most of the time people sleep on you know lands on bare lands they don't have a uh, proper beds and everything so they prefer to sleep simply on the floor and in such cases they are more prone to get attacked by the scorpio which is why children are easy target because they could not survive the venom they don't have that immunity inside them they are not much resistant to the venom the way we adults are so they are more prone to get accidentally sting by an scorpio which can lead to their death so this is it for the day i hope you have understood the lecture very well and thank you so much and keep learning and studying